you're a fan of Payday the Heist, then some exciting news came out this week from the developers of Payday 2. In case you've never heard of it, Payday the Heist is a game where you put on silly masks and then rob banks. I guess that's all there is to it. The gameplay is really similar to Left 4 Dead, except to replace the zombies with SWAT team members and police, and then you kind of got the basic idea there. The original game only had a handful of missions, but it turns out that Payday 2, which was planned to be another downloadable title, is going to be so big that it's going to get a full release on Xbox and PS3. Payday 2 will feature dozens of missions as well as an added class-based system. The four classes are Mastermind, Ghost, Technician, and Enforcer, and each one has its own specific abilities as well as a skill tree that you can level up the more heists you do. In addition to the new skill trees, successful heists will also reward items like new masks and weapon parts that will give you bonus stats for your character. Payday has always been about a cooperative shoot 'em up experience, but in my opinion, the one thing missing from this game that we haven't heard anything about is a competitive multiplayer mode. It could be similar to Left 4 Dead with a few bank robbers up against a vast army of cops that can spawn in as different powerful police units like snipers or riot gear swap members or something. Here's hoping they add something like that into the new Payday. And out of Jovenshire with a story about Pac-Man. So if you're a classic gamer like me, you'd probably been stoked to see the new headline announcing a new Pac-Man game. But alas, you'd find yourself slightly, most likely disappointed to see that it's going to be a platformer. So no traveling around a maze, running from ghosts, trying to beat the high score that your dad's holding on to you, you beat the score, maybe then you can win his love. <clears throat> Anyways, this game will actually be based on an upcoming TV show of the same name, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Yes. TV show. Yeah, it's been a slow few days in the news. I'm really fishing at the bottom of this barrel for this one, huh? Honestly, I was hoping to have a new party Pac-Man game. For example, there's a Pac-Man you can play with friends at the arcade that allows for four players all at once, and it leads to wonderful and chaotic time. But this, this is a Pac-Man game based on a cartoon. Now, if you remember, there was actually a side-scroller kind of puzzle Pac-Man game back in the Super Nintendo where you gotta plays Pac-Man in the world, but that was kind of cool. This maybe will be better than that, but hey, I, 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 I don't want to give it too much hate. Maybe I'm just getting too old for this. Maybe it's time for the next generation to enjoy Pac-Man. I'm going to go back to playing Miss Pac-Man in my Galaga cabinet. You kids probably don't even know what a cabinet is. Damn, I'm old. If you've been following the Oculus Rift, then you know it's currently the most exciting prospect for three-dimensional gaming that we have out there. Hell, even Gabe Newell, CEO of Valve, came out in support of this fantastic device on their Kickstarter video. I've always thought that a 3D headset would be perfect for a survival horror game. And wouldn't you know it, a game called The Forest is already being developed for the system. It looks pretty badass too. The main character goes down in a plane crash and winds up in this forest. And it's all open world with changing weather patterns, underground caverns, and horrifying mutants that will attack you when night falls. So hooray? Players can also build bases, weapons, and traps to defend themselves, so it's kind of like survival horror version of Minecraft in 3D. Anyway, I'll be keeping my eye on this game and the Oculus Rift to see how things are coming along, and you can learn more about this game on their Steam Greenlight page, which I've listed in the comments below. You can even vote it up to help the game get made. All right, guys, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining us here on Sagnut, and be sure to catch us next time.